This episode of The Totally Rad Show is brought to you by The Ben Heck Show. Coming up, it's finally hit its big 1.0 release, so we just had to get our hands on Minecraft. We talked about a lot of really huge games uh, being released over the holiday season, mm -hmm. but there's one game that is a massive worldwide hit that we have largely ignored on this show, mm. and uh, we're gonna correct that right now. That game is Minecraft. Minecraft, of course, has been out for a long time in the sense that you could play it, but it finally has been officially released in its version 1.0, it yep. is finally out of beta, uh, so we thought, might as well be a good time for us to leap in. We've gotten your Twitters, we've gotten your emails, everybody's been telling us to check this out, but we hadn't done so until just recently. Yep. Uh, but now we're playing Minecraft. What is Minecraft? Well, if you are one of the few who hasn't tried it yet, like we were... My... Know, if you're not one of the 16 million, yeah. or more, huge, 240 huge million uh, logins a month. It's a lot of logins a month. Kenny logins? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's like foot loose, cut loose, get on your Sunday shoes. Uh, it is uh, a game in which you are in a brick world, a cube world that's made up of all kinds of different materials. You can mine those materials and convert them into other things. There you have it, that's the game. Yeah, you can mine, you can craft. You can mine and you can craft. It is a game that is what you make of it. Give a little, give a little, give a little more, because, you know, like... Well, tell them about the Twinkie. <laughs> what about the Twinkie? Uh, I think you mean survival like, mode. Just like yeah, so it starts and you have to blah blah blah. You have to survive. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a it's a world that is created when you start a server. It's created um, randomly, uh, and that world is made up of hills and trees and mountains and rivers and lakes and deserts and all kinds of different stuff. And you are plopped into that world with nothing. You got nothing, and you have to make your way in the world today, giving everything, everything you got. Um, <laughs> And how do you do that? Well, you you know you chop down a tree, you get some wood, you can make uh, some some tools out of that wood. Yeah. Uh, and then you can use those tools to get rock, and you can make different tools out of that. And eventually, you can build yourself houses and larger and larger structures and more intricate materials and more intricate tools, and you can really craft yourself an entire world. Now, all the while, you're having to avoid monsters of various types that tend to come out when the sun sets. So the day-night cycle is pretty quick, and you have to uh, avoid those things uh, at night and figure out ways to shelter yourself, protect yourself, craft yourself weapons and armor and such. Um, but there really isn't much more structure than that. In fact, there are modes of, of the game that have even less structure than that. But we focused our, our efforts on survival. Survival, yeah. Alex, tell me what I, you think. Yeah, I, I mean, I sort of stumbled onto this. I obviously knew about Minecraft and just sort of looked at the, you know, saw some screen grabs and was like, eh, not for me. And then for whatever we, oh, it was because the, it got released and my buddy uh, Greg Aronowitz, who, who did some stuff for me in some of my short films, uh, he was doing some work on some like giant like creeper, like life-size creepers, you know what I mean, for mm -hmm. the mine, mine con that happened in Vegas. Mm -hmm. And I saw a blog post of his and I was like, you know, I'm just whatever. I went to the site and you can actually play it in the browser. I'm, by the way, I'm glad they abbreviated it as con and not conf. You know, for the... Okay. So you can also play it in browser. And so I was like, wait a minute. And it's like 26 bucks. I was like, you know what? Screw it. I got 26 bucks. But one of the things was I saw this video called How to Survive Your First Night. Mm -hmm. And I went, oh, How to Survive Your First Night. And I literally watched this guy and it was all like, okay, so it's the first night or the first day. It's the day. Uh, we're going to have a problem here at night. So we're going to need to get ourselves a little hidey hole. <laughs> figure out how to make some tools. And so the guy just started like chopping down a tree, making a tools. Okay, we need coal so we can make a, a torch. And I was like mesmerized. And all of a sudden he was like, oh, oh, the sun's going down. Okay, we gotta get inside. Okay, I'm gonna dig in here, dig in here. And then all of a sudden I hear this like, wah, wah, and like zombies are coming. I was like, this is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. So I downloaded it, played it, fell in love, loved every minute of it, told you guys about it. We then started playing on the, the survival mode multiplayer server Man. You made our own server, basically. Yeah, it was my computer. Man, this game is freaking fun. Now, I will say, you do sort of hit a wall 
after you've kind of gotten yourself, you're hitting walls all yeah, the time. yeah. But after you sort of gotten yourself, you're oh, I'm I'm wearing my diamond armor. I've got my diamond pick and my diamond sword. Not really worried about bad guys anymore. You know, I'm on the bedrock, so I'm mining down the lower levels. And then you and I were like, let's just make a like a cart, and we started making a roller coaster. We and did. it was really freaking fun. We did. And that's, I think, where this game really shines, which is it's part survival because you're trying to avoid death at any given moment, but also at the same time, you just start playing around. I mean, I, it was very surprising how much fun I had when I was like, let's just make this thing. I want to I wanna hit on that as well because I'm surprised that you had fun because I don't think you're generally a make-your-own-fun kind of video game player, right? No, I'm not. And that's why I think I hit a level with it where I, when I was playing single player, where I had my diamond armor, I had my diamond thing, I got a pretty decent house, I could just sort of start mining down the thing. When I would start the mining process to find more diamonds, diamonds, I got, I was like, oh, I'm a little bored right now. But, but because we were both there and we were like, I was like, I'm just gonna make a little track here. And then I was like, oh my God, we could make a full track. And then it became yeah. this, we had a goal. It's like a little kid in his treehouse. It is. It totally is. Yeah. And it was like, great. I put up a playing. board here, and now yep. we've got a ramp. But also, it's like, you go here, I'm going to go here, and it's going to be amazing. I mean, I literally dug all the way down to the bedrock while he was waiting at the top, and I put the thing I had down. my little cart, like, can I go? <laughs> That's true. And I took I took some Seriously. of the, I like took some of the lights down so it would go into a dark part of the cool. tunnel. The and I was, like, was I was like, okay, okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. Go. Should I, I go like, now? And he literally was like, yeah. It was amazing. And then we just like had to hop up the thing the entire way back to the top to go again. I mean, it was like sledding. I want to just add one little thing. I think part of the genius of this game <laughs> is that your mouse is your look, but the head of your yeah. character is mapped to where you're looking at all times. He goes like this. I'm standing. It's off amazing the side. how much personality it gets. Oh my god! Because he comes screaming down and he just like slams into the wall, and then all of a sudden this guy just goes like this. Because <laughs> <Look, look laughs> uh, he's looking at me. Oh, it's amazing. Ah, damn. It's amazing. Tell me what you think of this game. Um, so I had a very similar experience to Minecraft as I did WoW, and for both times I played I played not WoW, but I played Minecraft in, in beta form. Knew nothing about it, just heard how amazing it is. I, my nephew has like all these mods and like does crazy sh stuff. 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 Sh stuff. Um, uh, actually, it was before he, he I, I knew that he played, but I just so I played Ben and I was like, I don't know what to do. I, I guess this is just like little big plan people make things and like that's cool, but this isn't fun for me. I'm not, you know. Same thing that happened with WoW. I played it a long time ago on my laptop. I was like, I'm just walking around. I wanted to like talk to people. I didn't know. Yeah. Right? There's no instruction manual. You don't know what, there's Plus no way to know. Plus, you weren't even playing survival do. mode, right? You were playing the classic. I think I was, but no, I oh. was, I was, but um, I didn't know what, you know. <clears throat> yeah. But, uh, once you know what to do, and the game doesn't tell you what to do, or you have to be told. Although there is some satisfaction in like, figuring something out, yeah. Yeah, when you figure it out without having seen the video, that happened to me once, you know, but because it gets pretty complicated. There's no way. There really isn't a way. The game doesn't teach you, you know. Yeah. No. There isn't. No. There isn't a way, which is a little bit of. A, I mean, it's, it's strength and it's weakness, really. Um, you'd say it's very entry, entry, but clearly not for 16 million people. So, you know. We want me, but uh, but so when you guys, so, okay, so when we played, um, and I watched all those, I watched eleven of these making yeah. of videos, as of clearly you did because you knew how to build everything. Yep. Um, and there's no way to know that unless you watch that. Well, uh, there's experimentation out, and yeah. discovery. There is, but I'm not but so do that. but what I but there's I mean there's just so. By the way, our house has a bed now. Sweet, awesome. Sweet I did that for you. I did, did that for you. It? No, like the Lord fades out. You go to sleep. That got weird. So do you sleep, <laughs> you sleep uh, throughout the night so you can wake up and yeah. it's always yeah, day yeah. then? That's what I thought. Awesome. So but Not if there's somebody else there. What not is genius? Uh, oh, that makes sense. What is genius about this game? But I mean, you watch them sleep. The game go, is, <laughs> is Robin, the gaminess is Robin, Robin, Rob, Robinson Crusoe. Yeah, Robinson yeah, Crusoe. Totally. Swiss Family Roberts. Robinson. Passed away. Robinson where you Crusoe. Yeah, where you Caruso. Not like, <laughs> um, you are in this world and you just have to survive starting with nothing. So if you were to, if, even now having played the game, if I were to call you guys over or email you, hey guys, check out this cool thing I made, and you just see a screenshot from Minecraft, it does nothing for you. That doesn't, it's nothing. It just picks, it's just blocky graphics of, yeah. that's just a house, so what? The joy is that I, everyone has to do this. You all have to start this way. You went in this world and you had nothing, not a thing. And to get the house from nothing is, that is satisfaction. That is satisfaction that you can't get in many other yeah. instances in life, 
let alone yeah. video games. Hey man, you you blew the glass for our windows. I know the fact that I mean <laughs> that, like glass windows <laughs> and it looks terrible. Glass. But the idea that like from nothing we started, we all started with nothing. I had to make my own wood, to make my own stone, to make my own yeah. thing. That is a great joy. The thing that Sense creates of accomplishment. Yeah, the, the thing that creates fun is is having a goal. You, I, I had I hit that wall. You kept saying you were like, I, guys, I have no job. Guys, What's my job? What's need, my job? I said we need to like pick something to do. So yeah. whether it's making TRS out of block, whether it's making the two roller coaster castles, was what we did. Whether it's making that's and that's what I always want to do. I always want to do the Minecraft thing, in, of the minecart thing. You know, it's like that. That you have to do that. You have to assign yourself a goal. You have to see the bonsai tree in your head and then start chipping away. You can't just start chipping away and see what happens. I so want to go back and start at the top of one of those mountains and do a whole oh, like, too. But, like thing around, down and then around, in. Circling around. Oh, circling around. around. This is what's fun. It's having the goal and then trying to achieve it. Right. Yeah. If you're just in there dilly-dallying, it's like, well, what's the point? But here's yeah. the thing. I knew all of that. I mean, it's the same thing with uh, Little Big Planet or uh, <laughs> anything else. It, is When you have the goal, and, and you want to make the thing, it's like, yes, I appreciate, I extremely appreciate the all the people that make the extraordinary in these in these sandboxes mm. that can spend the time and make the cathedral yeah. uh, or the incredible level or what have you. I, I'm not that guy. And I that's why I stayed away. I had a, I had a real prejudice against what I perceived to be what this game was about, what I right. thought on the outside looking and not really investigating yeah. it. Um, it's like which looking is at a box of pile of random of Legos, Legos and, and you're like, I'm not going to be the guy who makes that into... Well, but Legos. that's the funny thing. I was where I, exactly where I was headed yeah. with this is that you guys know how much I love Lego yeah. and how huge a fan I am. And so many people send me tweets and send me emails saying, you really got to try Minecraft. You're going to love it because it's like Lego. I resisted because... I love Lego, but I love the physicality of Lego. I didn't feel like I would enjoy it in a virtual way. Mm. But the difference between this and Lego is that when you have Lego, you have a bunch of pieces and you can start building and you can create whatever it is you create. Here you have a randomized world that allows for both creation and creativity, but mm -hmm. also discovery at the same time. Yeah. So we set out making our our house and our hidey hole, but then we chip, 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 and oh my gosh, there's a huge cavern down here. What can we do with this now? Yeah. So it's, it's a two-way street. It's dictating things to us, and we're dictating things back to it. Yeah. I also had no idea how wonderfully intuitive and magical the mm. the crafting system really is yes. and yeah. how when you create a picture of something in that grid that's usually how you make it yeah. and that right there it's, it's a magical feeling it's saying i made this because i thought it, 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 yeah. it it's a connection to the creativity of the moment yeah. that is really rare and really magical yeah like i didn't know how to make tracks i just assumed it was iron iron and a stick yeah and that's what it and was that's exactly and what i was it like is. oh that's great an, it, a it's intuitive yeah. Yeah. the whole game is very intuitive in that way stuff works like you think it should work uh, a, a, you know a pickaxe works in the way you think it should yeah. work it, what you think should be the thing to do this is the thing that does that yeah you know uh, and that is really awesome and, and as much as I love Lego I have felt in recent years maybe it's just a function of getting older but that Lego has gone farther and farther away from what I love it to be which is a bunch of parts that look nothing like what I ended up making yeah nowadays it feels like oh, there's a lot of parts there's that's a like thing a giant exactly, wing exactly yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and this harkens back to a beautiful, pure time of, of creation in that yeah. way, where you really, it's all just blocks. And, you know, none of us have really referenced the fact that the game has a very simplistic look. Oh, which yeah. Which you would think would work against it, but there's a beauty to this game, and, and I've experienced a lot with the, the texture mods, which can really make the game look cool, but there really is a simplicity. It's Tetris. It's Tetris. It's, it's it's the ability to, at its core, it's a game that is fun, and it doesn't need to be a game that is super beautiful. Right. But uh, having in, said in that, way. I think a level of polish would really make it. Yeah. Like, and, and even a level of AI, AI a a level of AI on the bad guys oh, yeah, yeah, would yeah. be real the next yeah. win. Yeah. yeah. But it's such an exciting world to because live in. I, it is, but if it was a little bit more, it was, well, but I think, think that's what the texture kind of pretty, maps. And I think if only the, the I think that's what the texture. But I think, I think what it's the texture maps do because they make the blocks of the higher res blocks rather than really blocky blocks. And it's not just the the terrain. It's the character models yeah. this is really what needs work. But I think we'll be talking a lot more about this game, yeah. as I'm sure you... I'd love to hear your audience, your uh, reaction. We will show you our uh, our uh, roller coaster once it's done. Yeah, in the TRS Grotto slash...
hidey hole slash should we should we say the, the server or something they could come there's in there's no way it's we're gonna just be able to my say. ip address it's not really a server <laughs> well don't do that <laughs> All right, everybody, be sure to stick around. We're about to answer one of your Twitter questions right after this, but first we want to thank our sponsors, The Ben Heck Show. Join modding wizard Ben Heck and his friends as they build and modify a host of amazing community-inspired creations. Be sure to watch new episodes of The Ben Heck Show every two weeks right here, revision3.com slash TBHS, The Ben Heck Show. Uh, in the latest episode of The Ben Heck Show, or The Ben Heck Show, <laughs> ben demonstrates how to get started with... Those are whisper initials. <laughs> They're whisper initials. Ben demonstrates how to get started with FPGAs and whisper CPLD initials. device initials. that devices that let you program logic. Mm. Go what? to element14.com slash TBHS. Wouldn't it be great for your girlfriends, guys? Out. Am I right? Oh, boy. Am I right? To find Wait, out how women. you can enter to win Ben's <laughs> latest builds from the show. Amazing. Amazing. All right, people. Manana. Check us out tomorrow for Versus. Today's Twitter question comes from at Julian Pappas, Ooh, who really? asks, do you guys have any odd movie going habits, like mm. only eating popcorn for lighthearted movies, or sitting in a certain spot, or? That sounds I, like something you do. <clears throat> Mine actually uh, changed a little sitting bit. Sitting in a certain spot. Yeah, because sure. I used to sit on the aisles just because if I had a soda, I'd pretty much regularly have to get up in the middle of a movie and go pee, and I always felt bad, like, excuse me, oh, excuse me, sorry, excuse me, oh, wow. I don't think I what have happened? ever gotten up in the middle of a movie to pee, ever in my life. I did once, really? once, ski <clears throat> control too. I remember well, it. I remember we, can, it well. we all can understand why that. I, I totally well. understand. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, but now I've sort of changed because you, uh, when we center, started reviewing, center. you were yeah. like, I got to sit in the center, and it was sort of like, all right. You want to see it the best possible way. So now when I sit on the side, I'm always like, mm, that's weird. Yeah. Do you have any weird things? I don't know. I mean, I have the weird thing that if I sit down and I'm hypersensitive to all the people around me, and okay, that guy's gonna be a problem because he's talking right now to his girlfriend. Oh crap! All oh, that. The chick in front of me just pulled out her cell phone. She's gonna be doing that during the movie. I know she's gonna be doing that during the movie. I uh, need to move. I hate that. Why? And mm. usually it's not a problem. Mm -hmm. But I get so mm. hypersensitive about like, oh, I picked the wrong seat because these people in the, that, oh, that idiot in front of me is doing all those things I hate. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> uh, all right. Wow. Yeah. Thanks, dude. Thanks for <laughs> validating that. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Uh, oh, that's that's it. Nothing for you. I was saying the center, center for me. I have to sit. I have that's to sit it. In the center, the Aren't center. there other weird things? You have other weird things. What are right? you? Tell me. What what else? Raisinets. Gotta have raisinets. No. no. I so often don't. Dude, I've gotta had raisinets. Gotta wear that dress to all the yeah. screenings. Yeah. <laughs> don't tell them about the dress. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's my movie-going experience. <laughs> yeah.